Production assistance for Calliope is provided in part by 5D Designs and by Louise and Warren Aldrich, partners with Calliope in healthy character development. Thank you. Step right up, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages. Welcome to the greatest, well, second greatest show on earth. I'm so happy. It's my favorite time of the day. It's morning time. Morning time. Sun is rising. Morning time. Good morning, Lucy. Morning time. Morning time. Birds are singing. Morning time. Good morning, early bird. Bok Bok, morning time, morning time, count your blessings, morning time. Good morning, Giuseppe. Morning time, morning time, bells are ringing, morning time. Good morning, Penelope. Morning time, morning time. How I love the morning time. Boys and girls, my name is Calliope, and one day I'm going to join my Papa the Ringmaster's traveling circus. Hmm. Oh, hi, boys and girls. I was just wondering, maybe I could use this ice cream cone in my act at the circus. I really don't quite know what I'm going to do in the circus, but I'm sure one day I'm going to join it. Good morning, Calliope. I've been working on my introductions, trying to make them better. Oh, good morning, Penelope. Working on your introductions will certainly help you make them better. Would you like for me to show you how I do them? Sure. Okay, here goes. Hey, Giuseppe. Yes, Penelope. What is it? How do you do? How do I do? How do I do a what? What do you mean, how do I do? How do I do a what? Giuseppe, I'm just asking, how do you do? That's what I'm asking of you. How do I do a what? I'm a really busy here, Penelope. I'm a make a Calliope's a breakfast. Tell me what do you want to know so I can get it back to work. You're not listening to me, Giuseppe. I'm saying, how do you do? Look, Penelope, I'm going to go back into the kitchen. I'm a no got a time to find out what do you want. You wanted to know how I do something? You asking me that. Until you know what do you want to ask me, maybe you should keep a you how do you do to yourself. Well, that didn't go very well. Penelope, I think I know what happened. Let me talk to Giuseppe first, though. Giuseppe, you weren't being very nice just then. All Penelope was doing was trying to show you how she's making her introductions better. You are right, Calliope. I'm sorry I did that. 
Well, why don't you tell that to Penelope? Penelope, I'm a sorry I got mad at you. Please accept my apology. Well, Penny, you should accept his apology. Okay, I accept your apology, Giuseppe. Grazie, Penelope. I'm a do very well, thank you. Boys and girls, Calliope will be right back after these messages. Welcome back, boys and girls. Calliope, do you have a minute? I want to ask you about a this. About what, Giuseppe? This a list I found in the kitchen. Did you make an order to the Happy Joy a grocery? Uh, order? <laughs> what order? Let's see, a cotton of candy, a popcorn, a peanuts, a soda pop. I, um, well, I thought that maybe I could add it to your grocery list and... <laughs> now, a Calliope, I'm a sure a happy monkey you bring these things if I ask him to, but you Papa the Ringmaster, he told me to make sure you eat a right. So if you wanted me to order these things, I want you to promise me that you will eat a more vegetables. Giuseppe, you know I don't like vegetables. I'm a no, Calliope, I'm a no. But I'm a sure you know how important the vegetables are for you. I'll tell you what. For every vegetable you eat at a lunch and a dinner, I'll give you one of your favorite circus treats. You will? A circus treat for, for every vegetable that I eat at lunch and at dinner? Really? Really, a Calliope. I'll talk to you about it later. Right now I have to finish a making you breakfast. Did you hear that, boys and girls? Giuseppe said, for every vegetable that I eat, I get a circus treat. Let's see, if I eat 30 peas, that means I get 30 circus treats. Oh boy! I don't think that's what the deal is supposed to be, Calliope. Good morning, Happy Monkey. Well, what do you mean that's not the way it's supposed to be? I didn't hear all the details, but from what I heard, the deal was one serving of vegetable gets you one circus treat. Oh, well, that means I only get one or two circus treats. If you eat all of your vegetables. Oh. Well, do you have the vegetables today, Happy Monkey? I sure do. Here we have peas, carrots, celery, uh, radishes. Oh, and your favorite. My favorite? Broccoli. Yuck, I don't like broccoli. I'm not too fond of the others either. I know, but they're good for you. And please give them the Giuseppe for me. Cheer up, Calliope. I have a new joke of the day for you. What's your joke, Happy Monkey? What do you get when you cross an owl with a goat? I don't know. What do you get when you cross an owl with a lady goat? A hoot nanny. <laughs> get it? Owl, hoots, nanny goat, a hoot nanny. <laughs> That's, um, really good, Happy Monkey. I'll get these vegetables to Giuseppe right away. Thanks, and remember, have a happy day filled with joy. You too, Happy Monkey. Boys and girls, I'll get these vegetables to Giuseppe and see about getting Happy Monkey a new joke book while you watch these messages. We'll be right back. Hi boys and girls, I'd love to hear from you. Please write to me at Calliope, P.O. Box 1995, LaGrange, Georgia, 30241. And now, back to the caravan. Welcome back, boys and girls. And good morning to you, Mr. McCall. Good morning, Lassie. It's good to see you once again. Thank you, Mr. McCall. And it's good to see you, too. What's this? Lass, you know I can't tell you what's inside the envelope. I just deliver them. But I can say it's from your mail order school. Thank you so much. Do you have any other mail for me? Nay, lass, I'm afraid I don't. But if you have a few moments, I do have some pictures from my last visit to Scotland. 
I'd love to see them, Mr. McCall. Most people think only of bagpipes and kilts when they think of Scotland. But Scotland is also beautiful countryside. Have you seen anything prettier than these mountains and these valleys? And look at the castles. We have some of the finest castles anywhere in the world. And of course, most people don't know it, but Scotland is also the home of the great game of golf. Scotland is such a beautiful country. I'd love to visit there one day. Did you go alone this time, or did your brothers go with you? Now I'm afraid I had to go by myself this time, lass. My brothers were busy setting up their handyman company. Handyman company? Aye, lass. Anytime you need anything done here in Calico Valley, just give the Macaw brothers a call. They'll get it done for you. It's really hard to make this out, Mr. McCall. The writing on it is so tiny. Well, that's because they listed all the jobs they can do. And they do a lot of different jobs. I have to fly off now, Calliope Lass. See you next time. Bye, Mr. McCall. Be careful. What's going on over by the wishing well? Hi, everyone. What's going on? Hello, Calliope. We just have taken a break and a talking for a few minutes. Your breakfast to be ready as soon. I was telling some jokes that I thought maybe Happy Monkey could use. That joke he told today was really bad. True that is, Mon. He always makes me laugh. He makes me laugh too, but his jokes could be funnier. You are right, Penelope. I think a Happy Monkey should stick to selling a broccoli and not to try to be such a funny man. Hello? Hello? I, I'm sorry, I, I can't hear you. I, I'm sorry, could you say that again? I, I couldn't hear you. What? I'm sorry, there's just too much noise here. I, I'm sorry, there's just... I said there's just too much noise here. Could you... Could you hold on just a moment? Could you guys hold it down? I can't hear what the caller is saying. So I'm going to translate some of these new jokes that I got in this new magazine. Could y'all please be quiet? I'm on the telephone. You know, it's a joke about the fellow who goes downtown and takes a Would you all please be quiet? Thank you. Hello? Oh, yes, I'm sorry for all the noise. No, this is not the Chinese takeaway. Well, an order of Mushu pork sounds really good, I guess, but I'm sorry I can't help you. The Chinese takeaway is the number 12 can. This is the number 10 can. No, I don't have any fortune cookies either. That's all right. Goodbye. You all saw I was on the telephone. Why were you being so loud? Mon. It was a wrong number. That doesn't matter, Haymon. When someone is on the phone, the important thing to do is to be quiet and let them have their conversation. Even if it's a wrong number? Especially if it's a wrong number, Penny. The person on the other end of the phone needs to know that they've dialed the wrong number so they can hang up quickly and dial the right number. But if it's a wrong number, Calliope, why don't you just uh, hang up? That's not polite, and it's not respectful, Giuseppe. Well, you wouldn't like it if someone did that to you, would you? I never thought about it that way. Neither did I. I'm sorry we were so loud, Calliope. Yeah, Mon. I'm sorry, too. Same here, Calliope. I'm a sorry it happened. Just remember, when you're on the phone, 
You want people to be quiet around you so you can have a conversation. So you need to be quiet and respectful for me when I'm on the phone. How about you, boys and girls? Do you promise to be respectful when someone else is on the phone? Think about it while you watch these messages. We'll be right back. Oh, hi, welcome back, boys and girls. You know what I always say, it's important that you never stop learning. And I really look forward to getting my mail order courses. Let's see what this one says. Hello. Once again, your mail order school brings you a course designed with you in mind. Today we're going to talk about... I'll get it. Today we're going to talk about telephone manners. Hello. What about telephone manners, you ask? Well, oh, I'm glad hi, you asked calamity. me that. When you're on the phone, you want people to be quiet and respectful, no, don't I'm you? No, I'm not doing anything Of really course important. you do. Everyone does. And when other people don't let you have a quiet conversation, it really? can be a very frustrating experience, vegetables? can't it? Why I something like that happened to me at one time, grow. and I remember being so incredibly frustrated. But it's important to make Let sure that Giuseppe when you get a telephone call, you're not leaving cucumber. someone who's already talking to you just sitting I'll there, all ready to talk to someone who isn't there, while you get up and go have a conversation with somebody else I'll be sure on to the tell telephone. Penny that she sends her it's love. true, as they say. Telephone manners are just as important for the people the around you oh, as they are so for you. Nice here. Now, How about you there? understand more about telephone manners, and I know that you'll promise to do a very Too good job rain? every you time you're on the telephone. For a while, then. If you have any special questions about today's lesson, you know that you can always call us at the mail order school. Okay, Calamity. We'll be sure to pay attention to everything you have to say. And I'll call you That's back it later. for this course from Thank the mail order school. We've enjoyed being with you and we hope you've enjoyed Bye -bye. being with us. Goodbye. I'm sorry, what were you saying? Oh, nothing. Nothing at all. Oh my, that was really rude of me, wasn't it? You were talking to me and then I got up and took Calamity's phone call. It's nothing really. Just listen to the record again before you send it back. And maybe your friends would like to listen to it too. They might like a lesson in proper manners when someone is on the telephone. I'll make sure they hear it too. Thank you. But you do know that you're talking to a record, right? <laughs> Bop bop cackles like that, it's time for Calliope's Thought of the Day. Thank you, Bop Bop. The thought of the Day is, remember when someone's on the phone to always show that you have good manners. Calliope, your breakfast is ready. It's breakfast time, but first we must feed our friends because they depend on us. Here you go, Lucy. Penelope, this one's for you. Here you go, Bok Bok. Here you go, Haymon. Oh, won't go away. My fresh milk is here. Good morning, Daisy. You had that problem at the dairy too, with everyone being loud while you're on the phone? How do you handle it? You tell them not to moo so loudly? <laughs> I don't think that would work around here. I don't have any cows. You're right, Daisy. Thank you for bringing my milk. See you soon. Thank you, Giuseppe. And I guess you'll be having your breakfast later as usual. You are right, Calliope. First, though, I have to call the Happy Joy a grocery and have the monkey deliver some more vegetables. Hey, why don't you call Calamity instead? She has some that were fresh picked from her garden just this morning. I'll do that. You make sure everyone's quiet while I'm on the phone. 
I will, Giuseppe. It's time to set the table, boys and girls. I like to sing the place setting song when I do this. Won't you sing along with us? Penelope is going to help us. Fork on the left. Fork on the left. Spoon on the right. Spoon on the right. Plate in the middle. Plate in the middle. Cup right here. Cup right here. Napkin in the lap. Napkin in the lap. When you set the table right, it makes mealtime a delight. I'm so glad you came to visit me today, boys and girls. And next time you're passing through Calico Valley, stop in again sometime. And don't forget the lesson that we shared. When someone is using the telephone, always be quiet and respectful. And remember, always do your best and never, never, ever give up. And I love you. Bye-bye. Oh, 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 oh,